you remember my pantry was in the back room? You'll never believe where it is now. It's off the kitchen. We're not going to talk about the pantry just yet. And the reason being is because there's a lot to talk about in one video when it comes to a pantry. Instead, we're going to talk about a key essential to your pantry, especially if you can, and that's about your lids. The key to a successful can is that you need to make certain, this is called the lid, and this is called the band. Make certain that your lids are brand new because you can use them a second time, but I would not recommend if you're new to canning that you do that. You have to be somewhat experienced and these have to be really well intact. No little, because sometimes when you pop it off, it makes a little dent. So here's an old one and you can see right there. Do you see it right at the top? Now, if I was to try to can with that, this lid would not seal. If I touched it, it would come off. I had two jars like that yesterday. That's okay because I have don't have any other meat in the, fr in the fridge cooked. So I will spend time over the next mm, probably two or three days. I'll eat that meat. But for that reason, don't reuse your lids. There are some examples where you can I have a jar of turkey onion soup that I made. I'm not gonna open it right now because I already have soup in the fridge, but essentially, and again, this is where skill comes in. You can use a the dull end of a knife or you can use the sharp end and you can lift it off that way. Before I recommend something else, what I would say about this is that the chance of you getting hurt is more likely when you're trying to open up your jar with something like this. But more often than not, if you are successful, you won't get those dents and you can reuse your lids. But what I'm gonna suggest is an opener that is actually designed for canning. My only caveat to this particular item, it is far too pricey in my point of view. I know this probably only costs about maybe three or five dollars to make. 65 Canadian yeah but I'm going to tell you why something like this is an investment if and only if you know that you'll be canning a long time I've gone through a lot of lids and these lids I used to buy 12 for 99 cents they're about seven or eight dollars today so if you're constantly canning this as opposed to buying these over and over and over again is the better investment and even if you're a beginner, this is a better investment for you because then you won't invest as much money into your actual lid because it's not the bands that go first, it's the lid. Now on that note, are you Canadian? Do you know about the Canadian penny? It started off that it was real copper and then by the time they got rid of it, I think it was only like 2% copper. I think they're doing the same thing with these bands. I think they used to be true stainless steel, but then they started adding things like an aluminum alloy and other ingredients. They're not as superior as they once were. They blacken, they tarnish. A lot of people will tell you to put vinegar in your canner and that will prevent this black gook. Sorry folks, it doesn't work. At least not in a Presto canner. You can clean them, but eventually they end up rusting. So even these, once they start rusting, you need to get rid of them. And how do I clean mine? Well, I use Comet. Mm -hmm. I don't use Comet very often, but I will use Comet on this to get that black gook off because if you don't take it off, like I said, it leads to rust. Maybe that's the difference between a Presto canner and an All-American. I used to have an All-American, but I didn't get enough use out of it, so I sold it. Kind of regretting that. I think it might have been a better quality than the Presto, and maybe you don't get as much black. Which is why I have so many bands for my wide mouth yards and my narrow mouth yards. And yes, this is how I store my bands. And typically, the lids that I'm going to reuse will be bagged with the bands. Otherwise, I have a separate place here in the pantry where I have all my new lids for when I need them. And it's more cost effective to buy them separately than to buy them prepackaged like this. And of course, there's these type of lids. Let's see who made this. Tatler. That's the lid and it comes with these gaskets. Uh, these work wonders to be quite honest, but if I had to buy all of these 
for all of the jars that I've canned. This would have been way, way, way too expensive. So these are things that I'll use if ever, and you never know, if ever this stuff becomes too expensive, or as we all discovered in 2020 to 2022, sometimes they just weren't available. When it comes to lids, I will always trust Bernardin, always. And this one came with jars that I bought. They weren't Bernardin, they were something else, country something, I think, in Canada. These are good lids as well. But I went to the dollar store and I bought these things called Snap Tight. They're not really for canning. This is brand new. When it came out of the canner, I touched it and it was off. I think only two held. So I bought these because, well, during COVID, I couldn't get these anymore. And prior to COVID, like I said, I only paid 99 cents for a pack of 12. And now today, they're between seven and nine dollars for that same pack of 12. We'll talk more about canners in another video. But for now, that was today's video on bands and lids. And of course, we'll talk about jars and a whole bunch of other things in upcoming videos. And I'll take you for a bit of a tour through the pantry. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And until I see you in the next video, ciao for now.